Hi, this is the 1000 Scenes Project. I'm Morgan, and improviser number 196 of 1000 is Sunita Deshpande. Hi, Sunita. Hello. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to have you here. Uh, our randomly generated suggestion is suing. Suing. Um, I uh, mm -hmm. I feel like you're I feel like you're firing me, um, because I wouldn't go out on a date with you. That's exactly right. That's exactly okay. Right. So you yeah. admit it. You admit it. Yeah. Well, that's illegal. Um, that's actually you're not allowed to do that. Well, I just I was in a in a in a in a tough moment, you know. And I didn't actually want you to go on a date with me. I, I just, I, you know, I had gone through a breakup, and uh, I was really hoping that you would just say yes to make me feel better at the time. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, I actually don't even, I'm not, I don't even have a problem with you having asked me out. I was flattered. Really? But it's it's the firing of me because I said no is is the thing I have a problem. with. It was, that's that's the illegal thing. It's just tapas. It just right. Out. I understand. You made it very clear there would be a very low pressure date. Totally. Uh, and again, it wasn't even an unappealing thing. It's just you know I just I just I just broke up with my girlfriend three months ago and I'm just not ready to be dating right now. But again, all that aside, we just we both both broke up with other people. Right. Both yeah. in a kind of you know, not in a good place right now, and I, I just thought, wow, we would have something in common, yeah. you know? No, again, it made, like, on a certain level, it made sense, and it's it's oh, not no. the asking out, I, I need this job, and I want this job, and they... See, on a lot of levels, it made sense, and I felt like as a boss, uh, you should respect me, and, and that's why I'm firing you. See, that's the problem. That's why you can't have that sort of thing happen there, in the workplace because it exactly. overlaps. There's overlaps everywhere. What do you, What do you mean? There's overlaps at companies. There's overlaps in life. I mean, as a boss, I can recognize when an employee respects my decisions and when when one doesn't. So. So you're firing me for having a lack of respect for your decisions when it comes to asking me about to do. Per, uh, have a personal relationship with you. Yeah. Okay. So if I had gone out on the date, you would then respect my... I would have. Yes, I would have. We're being frank here. I mean, you no longer have a job. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, and again, I, if there's any way I can change your mind, I just... What if I... I mean, is it possible that if I give you the full reasoning behind it, that you would respect my judgment more and so be willing to hire me back? said about your girlfriends breaking up, that wasn't the full reasoning. Now I feel like you're an employee who holds things from their, their boss. No, I want to be totally honest with you. I, I actually like that. That's why I didn't mind that you asked me out. I like, I'd like to know that you were interested in that rather than having me this weird secret. Uh, yeah, I don't, the, think, yeah. I don't think there should be secrets in relationships, and I don't think there should be secrets between bosses and employees at work. See the overlap? See, I had a point. Yeah, no, I, wouldn't, I wasn't saying you didn't have a point. Okay, so the full, the full reasoning, my, my, the, the reasoning, the logic I was using was <laughs> that if we went out uh, and say it went well and we started having a relationship. And I know it would have. Or we would have comforted each other, but go ahead. Absolutely, there's definitely a chance of that. But I feel like once we were in a relationship, it would make our office relationship kind of difficult. And it was just the fear of that that stopped me from saying yes. So do you see maybe more of the logic that I had there? Is that maybe more of good employee logic? I just feel like if we had been working in synchronicity with each other, you know, outside of the office and inside of the office, um, mm -hmm. there would have been a synergy everywhere. So again, this is just okay, I see that. not trusting me as your boss. Yeah, no, honestly, honestly, this is great. Let's keep this going. I just, uh, I see... Absolutely. There's, that's flawless logic. I mean, that would definitely be a possibility. There is also, just statistically speaking, a decent chance that we would break up at some point, even if it was going really splendidly at first. And then that definitely would have... How do you know that we 
led to a breakup. It could have been two souls who were really both sad melding together. And Right. But didn't you feel that way with your last boyfriend? Because I felt that way with my last girlfriend, but then it fell apart. So you can't no. really know. Why do you think Michael got fired? Oh, you, Michael was your boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought he got fired because he he fried the database. He didn't... So to speak, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that puts things in perspective. Um, you know what? I'd love to go out on a date with you. Do you mean us? Uh... Think I do? Thank you. Just that that was a hesitation. That was a moment of hesitation. Okay, you're right. No, this is uh yeah. 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 And Bob, you know, it's it's on me. I'm having trouble separating work life and social life. Uh, do you do something different with your hair? Yeah, I put a little a little mousse in. Thank you. Thank Are you, you interviewing at other places? Have you been interviewing? Not yet. I just, you know, just having found out that I was. I see. Sometimes as a boss, you can just pick that kind of stuff up. You know, when one of your employees is just. Look, in other look, places, look, like you, you back have. Off. You it have. Was, uh, oh, back off. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't work here anymore. It's none of your business where I work. You know, if I'm not just saying before I fired you, I feel like that you might have been interviewing at other places. You might have just been seeing. What? Other shoot, what, what did I do to make you so suspicious? Like. Have you, have you been going through my computer, by the way? It's none of your business what websites I go to. Uh, yeah, I actually I have every right to know, as your boss, what websites you are visiting. Uh, okay, well, maybe I'm sure paper you do, but I, that's not real. Look, I need some space, okay? I need, to exp I need to explore other job options right now. This job just, I think we both realized at this point this job just isn't working out for us. You know, for when me you and started you. at this company, you were all like, Oh, I can't wait to learn and grow with you. Oh, this is unlike anything I've ever been with before. Things change, Julie. Things change, okay? When did they, was... change? When did they change? And why didn't you bother to tell me that you felt like they were changing? We both sat down with the company's psychologist. And you almost tried to not make that meeting. What do you mean? I tr you almost tried to not make that appointment. I had a doctor's appointment. That's all right. I interviewed yesterday. I felt, I, as long as we're being honest with each other, I went on an interview yesterday at lunch. Really? How was it? How was your interview? It was pretty good, actually. Really? It was pretty good. They have, a, they have quite a benefits package, so that was pretty exciting to think about what my life would be like. So they're offering more package. than you. Yeah, it's like, no, it's a new, new younger startup. I get it. Fine, just keep... It's not about, it's not about the age of the company. Oh, really? Why do you make it? Not, it, it happens to be a startup. You okay? haven't committed to one job? Like, how old are you? You haven't committed to one job for more than, like, a year. Why is that on me? That's the economy, okay? That's how jobs work now. That's no, not on like, me. The VPs at the office, they warned me when I was thinking of hiring you. They were like, look at where he's been. Look at his track record. It, doesn't make, it makes me uncomfortable that you'd even talk to them about, about me being employed here. I think honesty is incredibly important. And I am honest with all my VPs. My VPs, I tell them everything. They know everything. Maybe you're too honest, Julie. Maybe you're too honest. Maybe that's your problem. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I think we should just hide things from each other from now on. Why don't we do that? Look, I don't want to... I don't want to argue with you. I'm just going to clear out my desk, okay? I think it would be better if I just packed up my stuff and just... Don't go. You know, could you call security and have them escort me out? I no, think don't, it's for the best. don't do this. I don't, don't. I want don't, you to. I want you to have this. this don't do this to my us. ID card. I was um, no. I was testing you. I wanted to just see how. You, yesterday, you went on an interview yesterday. You were supposed to meet the parent company yesterday. I, that's not going to happen. Do you know how bad he made me look at that meeting? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You mean I think you we. You I think we need to consider so this my exit interview. I think this has been my exit interview. Don't do that. Come on, let's just let's just go out to test and let's just put it on the company card. 
okay, and let's just go to tennis. Like, maybe know. someday, maybe someday I'll feel comfortable with that. You know, when I have an expense account somewhere else, and I can. No. I just. Um, you told me, you told me that you could really see a future. My, my, my job aspirations have changed. I'm sorry. Really, it changed. Got a different career path. I think. What do you want to do with your life? Who is this startup anyway? Huh? It's a you startup. You don't know them. It's a brand new startup. Where did you meet them? At a conference? It's a friend of my cousin's. Um, right. The people you went to college with. Um, I feel like this whole time that you've just been leading me on, and I'm not getting any younger. That's not when I'm was I any younger. We just wanted to, we wanted to branch out, and we wanted to have a future, and we wanted to start new companies, and it's not going to happen. Now. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. You're going to have subsidiary companies someday, and they're going to be such great subsidiary companies, and you're going to have more employees than you know what to do with. You're you're a great boss, and I would love it if you felt comfortable with it. If I could have people call you for a reference, I mean, only if you're comfortable with that. I don't I don't know at this point if um, I don't know at this point if I feel comfortable with that. I just okay, well, I can have them call I can have them call Greg just to verify okay. employment. Sure. I don't want to ask too much. I just, um, no, it's... I'm just going to leave the ID card on the desk here, um, and I'll call security to get take the, the ID. Take, the, the, take it out with you. Take it I'm, not, I'm not legally allowed to take it when I'm no longer uh, an employee. So. You always... Uh, it was fun, you know. It was, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, and I'm not saying that the benefits package was bad. I really appreciated it. It's just... I need more choice of healthcare providers, um, and I can stand a couple more vacation days. But this—that's not what this is about. This is time. Yeah. This is time. All right. Well, um, I Paula. wish and your your new job. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank and you. if I see you at any conferences in the future, I'll try to be civil. Me too. I think that'd be great. I, yeah, I think. I think. Yeah. It was just tapas. Black F. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Sunita. Very fun. Thank uh, you. That was very fun. Of course. Uh, is there anything that I can plug for you in the description of the video? Uh, yeah, my website is sunitadeshpande.com. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just auditioning right now, so. Excellent. Well, I'll put a link to that uh, in the video <laughs> description. Uh, thank you so much, and have a fantastic day. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Take care.